Oh, hi. I just came in from outside. Um, today's Memorial Day, which means a lot of businesses are closed and we don't have school, even online school. Um, it's a national holiday. Poppies have been symbols for Memorial Day for a very long time. And it's very easy and it's very fun and it means something very special when you wear it. So, I looked at poppies and what I found is that they are red and black. So sometimes if I want to do draw something or do a project, I just look at the pictures of it and then I go around and I gather materials. I gather some red markers, I gathered some red oil crayons, and I even found this red tissue that I think I can use. Some black buttons, scissors, markers, a water, a couple co colors. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them all, but what I like to do is when I think I want about something I wanna make, I gather all my materials and I put them down in my one little workspace. So. We can see on it that there's no name in great. What lies beneath is a big mystery. And no one ever seems to find the key. So there's my poppy shape. Now I want to make the sensor more interesting. I'm going to need some glue for that. So whenever I like to use glue, sometimes I make a little cuddle on a piece of scrap paper like this. Whoop! Whoa. That was maybe too much. Remember what we always say? Dot, dot, not a lot. Well, too bad. I got a lot. Um, so that's going to be my glue. And I'm going to take a stick, you can use a popsicle stick, a q-tip, some kind of, any old thing. I'm going to put the glue right there. Ooh. Put glue on there because I want to glue one of these cool black buttons that I found on. But first, I'm going to add a cool detail. I'm going to make a circle of black paper, cut that out, and I know we love to use scissors. Once I got my circle, I'm going to do little snips all the way around. Snip, 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 snip. We will honor those scars, bruises, and cuts. So, see that? Look at all these cool little... Ready? Move that right where we put it. That's going to help make it 3D. Next. Use one of those black buttons I found. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Now we just have to let it dry, put a pin on it, and you've got a really cool red poppy pin. Maybe you got some tissue wrap from a present. You can always use that. Good for recycling. So I'm going to make a paper flower with this. Yep. I'm going to make a circle. I do mine freehand, but you can also just take anything and trace around it to make a circle, right? If I got a bunch of layers and I'm going to cut out all the layers at the same time. Puppies have a round shape. Hey, now I have all these really pretty Thin little red petals. Now so we're going to want our little poppy to kind of look like this. It has really soft looking petals. The way you do that is you want to crunch these up just a little bit so they have a little. <laughs> a little crunch. Give it a little dot dot. Not a lot. Stick it right on top. There's another one. These are going to be so pretty. Crunch and 
Stick it in the middle again. And no one ever seems to find the key. That looks like a pretty good poppy. What's missing? The black in the middle. What if I ran out of black paper? And actually, I don't have black tissue paper. I only have red. But watch this. I'm going to ball it up. Make it look, make it nice and balled up, crunchy. I'm going to glue that on. This one I'm going to use a little extra glue for this part because it's a little bit, needs a little more. It's thick and heavy, bigger. Put that all in there. And I don't have black, but I do have a nice big fat black magic marker. And if I color on it lightly, it's even going to give it a really neat texture. Because it's just going to look kind of bumpy. Because what I'm coloring on is bumpy. And it really actually helps it look like a real flower. So I happen to have um, some paper straws at my house, so I'm going to use that as the stem. You could use any straw that you have, a chopstick, um, use your imagination. What could you use for a stem? Just dip it in the glue. And stick it on the other side. a minute for it to dry. Just hold on to it. And you've got oh, kind of a pocket full of pocket full of posies. A base full of pockets. Honor those who kept us remaining free. We will honor those who kept us remaining You're not gonna believe what we're gonna use next. Sandpaper. This is actually paper that you use for woodworking and all kinds of handy things around the house that you need. You can get it at the hardware store or maybe someone in your house ask to raise their toolbox and say, hey, do you have any sandpaper I can use? This is a fine sandpaper. We're gonna use it with chalks to make a beautiful poppy field. I'm going to use red chalk, two types of green chalk that a lot of times we always use, right? A, a dark green and a light green, blue for the sky and, oh, wait a minute. I don't need black for the centers because my paper is black. Okay, let's start. Let's start by making our circles. And I'm going to put the bigger circles in the front and littler ones up at the top. That the bottom and the top also in a picture can look like the front and the back. You can make some of them coming off too if you want. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do another circle inside because I want to leave that part black and color it. You leave the black in the middle. If you forget, don't worry about it. That's how that feel the poppy. Sometimes you don't always see the black center. And just color it in with the chalk. The, the paper really um, grabs the chalk because it's textured and makes it look super bright and really, really neat. Already we've got kind of a gorgeous looking poppies. Now with our finger, let's smear it out and give it that beautiful, thin, poppy uh, petal look. Take my light green chalk, give it some stems. Dark green chalk. I like to use the side, remember? Fill that in. I wish I knew what lies beyond the tomb of the unknown soldier. We honor those who fought for us, although the war is over. Let's make the sky blue. What lies beyond the tomb of the unknown soldier. We honor those who fought for us. Remember what happened to Dorothy in the poppy field? Be sure to watch Wizard of Oz to find out. Okay, 
One more if you can handle it. This is a super bonus. This is how to make paper flowers out of tissue. It's an accordion fold. And by an accordion fold, I mean cut it like a rectangle. You guys know rectangle or two short sides and two long sides. And go up a little bit one way, flip it over, and come back down that way. Over, come back down this way. Just ask for help if you need it. Or you can just watch this over and over, and I'm sure you guys can figure it out. So what you're taking this paper and you're folding it up into a very long, tiny rectangle. One more. Okay? So you have it like this. Or it's like a fan. Any kind of wire. This is wire that I use to hang pictures. Put it in the middle. Nice and tight. Twist it. You could even use a twist tie that you get from the grocery store. Now for the fun part, you take each layer and pull it up gently. The unknown soldier who was saved today. We will honor the so pretty and so easy. So now we need to do something for the black center. And look at that. Look at this. Let's just cut out a circle out of a black coffee bag or black paper or maybe a black trash bag. That would work. Remember our little cut? As we lay the wreath on his Arlington gray. Next up, our glue. Stick it in the center. And you can tie these up. That's a bonus one. We will honor those who gave. 